Who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this, the love of God was manifested towards us, that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins, beloved. If God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love has been perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent the Son, a Saviour of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love and he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. Love does no harm, my friends. Love does no harm. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus said that my words are spirit and they are truth. Jesus Christ said my words will not pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never pass away. Time is running out, my friends. Time is running out. Where will you spend eternity? Where do you want to spend eternity? Do you want to chase after the wind? Do you want to chase after the things of this world? Do you want to chase after riches that fly away? Do you want to be rich? Why don't you be rich towards God? Why don't we repent and come to the one who gives you true riches? The one who gives you true life? The one that can save your soul? The one who gave his life? So you could have true life. You can have true meaning to your life.